So this is uh, St Giles Church in Tid St Giles in the Cambridgeshire Fens. It's a rear uh, bell, detached bell tower church and uh, probably dates to the 12th century probably. So for starters, that's quite a stunning ogee arched uh, west doorway. I love that. Uh, built in the Gothic design. It's giant west window, empty niches, and uh, not many people actually do this around here, so probably I will have quite a few people staring at me in a minute. <laughs> the, uh, the war dead. As you can see, the main building and the tower is over there. Uh, while the towers are like this in the fens, it is because of soil. We have soft clay soil and uh, hot and dry conditions. It causes it to expand and shrink. And uh, also we have a wind called the fen blow, which blows over poorly designed buildings like churches. As you can see the tower. As you can see the tower, even this one is on the lob. That's about that's the angle of the tower roughly. So as you can see it's slightly on the wonk. Lovely headstones in here. Uh, you've seen my Yorkshire, North Yorkshire uh, churches have really elaborate headstones. But this is a poorer part of the country, so the headstones are not as nice. Inside the bell tower, they found a uh, 14th century. Uh, coffin bearer up there which is inside the church but you won't be able to get inside it that would have been uh, all the arches would have been open of course as you can see it's been bricked up by Victorian brick uh, actually quite substantial Quite substantial arches there, uh, gothic again. It used to have a tower here, but the original fell. I'm the only person to have tried to put this church on the map because basically churches in the fens, no one cares about them. So I'm the only person who's ever tried. Uh, and you can't do it on your own really, so. 14th century uh, east window. It's a lovely window inside actually. But yeah, that's where the tower used to be. Beer somewhere. And it collapsed.
this 14th century Tudor window of creatures carvings on the top which is quite unique again lovely uh, headstones oops a lot of holes here so north porch not used Biscuits, no visitors, no one ever comes here, no one knows about it because it's isolated in the, fe uh, the fens. Locals don't care about it, there's only a few who do really, and I'm telling you the truth. Churchyard, it's quite a large one. As you can see, Quite a large churchyard, some really old headstones. Uh, so, if you want to come and visit this place, come and visit it because it's a very unique church. We only have, I think, three or four of these. Uh, West Walton. If you want me to do West Walton and the others, comment below. It says a beautiful Gothic church. It really does look good in uh, fog and snow, which I've photographed. Sadly, you can never get into any of these churches here. As I said, no one cares, so. Love the old thing that is. That's the stair, the stair, the stairwell, I think. Where they've gone up the tower. Again, all the, uh, that would have been fully open many, many years ago. Uh, so would that have been, that probably had glass in up there, stained glass. Shame. So forgotten, really. There's people do try and look after them, but only a handful. You see, this has nothing to do with religion. I don't like religion myself. This is a do with the building. These are our uh, oldest buildings in the country and magnificent. And often in the most, probably the best part of the village. So if the church was removed, then so would all this be. Funny thing is, when you stand here, you think you're in a lovely place but get half a mile out of the village and it's a, uh, mm. Stunning church, beautiful gothic, beautiful. And if you look on the, uh, on the nave, you can see where it once had arched cholesterol windows. You can just see them below in between the square windows up there look that would have been added that uh, south aisle would have been added at a later date isn't it funny my family comes from here and they've never been around this church. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, when people 
Locals have never been round here. I've spoken to quite a number and they've never even been in the churchyard. It's a shame, isn't it? People just don't appreciate nothing. Oh, I haven't not, I haven't had any breakfast. Oh yeah, they nice. Mmm. Bit of bush tucker. Oh my favourite red ones. Mm. <laughs> beautiful uh, beautiful uh, sapphire windows different styles uh, that's a Tudor I think that's a Tudor beautiful uh, again Ogie arches over there. A very basic label stop, very basic they are. That's almost like the carvers couldn't be bothered. Now, when you're normally around here, you get an audience. Look how these, look how it's sunk. Hang on, if I hold the camera. Yeah, that's how much these churches are leaning due to the, due to the soil. See the surf, surf oil and surf porch. No longer used. That's had a modern repair. Look, rubbish. <laughs> That was it. Let's see if I can get in. I bet you can't. Get in here, you'll be lucky. Jam solid. That took me three years to get in here. Yeah, you can fill your van up, your water tank. So yeah. So that's Tid St Giles Church, St Giles. Ah. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, drops a line and I'll do more. And if you're in the area of Tidson Giles, Cambridgeshire, come and have a look at the church. <laughs>